Greeting all. Today we start the session by looking on the forms and reports of the database application. Forms and reports are important part of the database application. Designer use them to create an integrated application, making it easier for user to perform the task. Decision maker and clerical use workers use forms and reports on a daily basis. Forms. Form gathers information for essentially one record of the database. Report. Reports can represent information gathered from more than one file. The basic uses of forms are collect data, display query data, display analysis and computation result, switchboard, direct manipulation of object like graphics. Reports are typically printed on paper, but they are increasingly being created for direct display on the screen. Report can be used to format the data and present results from complex analysis. Forms and reports have several common features. Effective design of form and reports. When designing forms and reports, one must remember that they are the primary contact with the user. The key to effective design is to determine the needs of the user. There are some basic human factors design elements that system designers should incorporate in their applications. They are user control. The user control is the users are not the programmer and not the application should always have the control. For example, do not expect users to enter data in a particular sequence. Consistency To ensure consistency, there are two factors. At the beginning of the application, establish a design standard and basic template for all designers to use. Towards the end of the application development, Always go back and check for the consistency. Clarity Clarity means keeping the application simple and well organized. If the application has multiple forms and reports, organize them according to the user task. Aesthetics Aesthetics also plays an important role in the user interface. The goal is to use color on design to enhance the forms and reports. Graphics and art are important and they provide an attractive familiar environment to the users. Feedback Feedback users include accepting input, acknowledging changes of data, highlighting completion of a task or signifying the start or completion of some event. Forgiveness Designers should provide the users with the possibility of anticipation and correction of errors and confirmation on deletion and updates and backup and recovery of the data. The basic types of form They are tabular form, single row or column form, sub form, switchboard form. Tabular form. One of the simplest form is the tabular form, which displays the columns and rows from a table or query. It can be used as a sub form and is rarely used as a standalone form. Microsoft Access provides an even simpler version of a form called a data sheet. Single row or column form. A single row form displays data for one row at a time. The goal is to display every column. Its greatest feature is that the designer can display the data at any location of the form. It is useful for designing a form like a traditional paper form. Subform A subform is usually a data sheet embedded on the main form. A subform generally shows a one to many relationship. Switchboard it provides overall structure of an, of an application. 
it directs the user to other form and report in the application. It often contains image and reflect the style of the company. Report Several issues are involved in designing report. As in the development of form, users need to determine the content and layout of reports. The issues in designing reports are Report usage and the user needs Report layout choice like tabular, subgroup, chart, etc. The paper size and how often it should be generated and what are the triggers uh, to report how large is the report and the colors security control etc some of the examples of tabular and label report here are the example of group and subtotal report These are the sub examples of graphical report. Thank you for watching.